Good morning and welcome to Sports Zone on the Power Breakfast Show. My name is Waihiga Mwaura. Now, a few weeks ago, we showed you a 50-year-old sport called 10 pin bowling at the village market. Now, we take you way back even further to a sport that started in the early 1900s. It's also bowling, except this time they play it on the grass, so stay tuned. Bowls is a sport in which the objective is to roll slightly asymmetric balls called bowls so that they stop close to a smaller, normally white ball called the jack or kitty. Bowls is usually played outdoors on grass and synthetic surfaces. Flat green bowls can also be played indoors on synthetic surfaces as well. Both variants are collectively known as lawn bowls. The game is said to have originated in 12th century England and has grown in popularity with Scotland as the home of the modern game. Today the sport is played in over 40 countries with more than 50 member national authorities. Kenya's lone bowling history is a bit obscure. However, what is clear is that even with very few players, we have managed to perform well in previous tournaments and our national team expects nothing less at the Commonwealth Games. We've done very well. In the last Commonwealth Games, the Kenya team beat Australia. It was the only game that Australia won. Um, it was in the group stages and Australia went on to win the gold medal. So we're, we're going there with, with high hopes. But where did all this start? This is a conventional bowl and it's been, been going for hundreds of years. Um, they say it went back to the days of, of, of Drake in England when the Spanish Armada came. Uh, and he was both been playing bowls at that time and refused to go and fight till he finished his game of bowls. But that might just be a little bit of uh, historic humour, I think. Many of you may be wondering, what is the difference between lawn bowling and 10-pin bowling? There's no relationship whatsoever. The 10-pin the, the bowling is very similar to 9-pin skittles. 10-pin bowling is basically played on um, a wooden surface, which is oiled in certain parts. You know exactly what's going to happen wherever you throw the ball down. With ours, you've got a little bit more variation. Um, the green is roughly 40 yards by 40 yards. It's a large area to keep in immaculate condition. Now scoring systems vary from competition to competition. However, in layman's terms, the winner is the one who gets his bowls closest to the jack over the different sets. One of the things that makes Sports Zone so interesting or unique is that we don't just talk about a sport, but we also go out there and try it as well. Lawn bowling looks interesting and unique. So let me see how my first experience goes. Time from two meters from the ditch, and you throw it to a distance which is not less than 23 meters. Okay. Maximum can be 40, 40 meters. So there's, a, so there's a minimum. Okay, let's talk about singles. Okay. Me against you. Yes. All of us have got four balls. Yes. And we ball in turn. Okay, yes. After we've okay. done our 4-4, four -four, we go to the jack and see which is the closest mm. to the jack. If all my, all my four are close, I score four points. But if I have one and you have a second wood, in other words, the maximum I can score is four. Yes. If you're not very good. Yes. But if you're good, you can make sure that uh, when I bring one very close to the jack, you also bring another one, so as to try and cut down the scores. When I'm bowling, it must be one meter behind me, something like that, yeah? Just to make sure that you don't interfere with my concentration, because concentration, the concentration required in this game is so high, yeah? That actually, when somebody's aiming there, even if something moves on the other side, you'll not see it. Because a game of weight and the length. You have to calculate how much weight you're going to use and what length you're going to take because it moves in a bias. Bowls are designed to travel a curved path because of a weight bias which was originally produced by inserting weights in one side of the bowl. This is no longer permitted by the rules and bias is now produced entirely by the shape of the bowl. We spoke to Susan Karioki, a veteran Kenyan bowler with almost 20 years of experience under her sleeve on why all bowlers wear white uniforms. We wear white because it is the best in, the, in uh, warm, uh, when it is hot because of the sun. It doesn't retain the heat like the black. 
yeah, at the same time it is be it is uh, attractive, it's beautiful. <laughs> but how far has this sport taken her? Very many places. I have been to uh, bowling uh, to Australia for wild bowls. I was in, uh, chosen in the team. I have been uh, to Australia again, uh, 202, because of uh, uh, single championship. Sh single championship is when you play in your clubs and you win, uh, they, they have every country. We had 26 countries, you go and play against each other. That is single game. And, um, I have been in several, about 10 uh, AST. AST is African State Tournament, which we hold every year. And uh, luckily, you, are, you will be able to watch us. Next year, we are holding AST in Kenya. So what can we do to build this sports profile in our country? But it's the grassroots that we need. We, we are talking with the government officials and the sports officials, trying to find ways where we can bring on the, the younger generation. Um, Mike Hoomer and, and James Ngugi are still young bowlers um, who have exceeded all expectations. They've both already won the national singles titles of Kenya more than once. They've both been to the champion of champions, um, which is only the, the singles winners of each nation go to. They, they are our up and coming bowlers. We need more people. And if we can have a, a, a public green, like the one in the, which used to be in the city park, and then we encourage them, they will come, all schools. But uh, schools, we are encouraging now schools to come. We invite them, if it is like this one, uh, like this green, you encourage them, they come, they see how it is, and the people will come up with the, the interest. As our Kenyan team makes its way to New Delhi, we hope and wish the best for them because their victory will spur local interest and possibly produce future champions. I think the nation will actually remember us because I think we're going to do far better than not only most people around Kenya believe, but the rest of the world. I think the rest of the world is in for a shock at these games. Well, it's always interesting to try out a unique sport because life is made more interesting when you keep trying out new things, when you keep trying out different things. I certainly hope you enjoyed today's feature on Sports Zone on the Power Breakfast Show. Remember, I am interested in hearing your comments, your views, and your questions about anything we do. So contact me by joining my Facebook group, that's Sports Zone, in brackets, the Power Breakfast Show. But until next week, my name is Higgs, and this definitely has been Sports Zone on the Power Breakfast Show.